Hello, happy Thursday, everybody. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm excited to share three cards with you today that are quick and simple ideas and layouts that I hope that you can use again and again in your own crafting. My name is Loretta Groot from Loretta Marie Crafts, and I'm a Stamina Up demonstrator in Calgary, Alberta. And I come live here on Thursdays to share fun tips, techniques, ideas, and inspiration with you to help you take your beautiful crafting supplies and turn them into beautiful projects. Now, this has been a week. You ever have a week where like everything goes wrong? <laughs> where you're like already maxed out and then like this little thing happens and then this little thing happens and then this little thing happens. Yeah. So that's been my week. So what was going to turn into elaborate fun projects with the autumn leaf size has turned into, you know what? Sometimes you just need a quick and simple card um, that still turns out beautiful. It doesn't have to be crazy and elaborate. So that's what I'm going to share with you today. So, um, yes, that's what we're going to be all about today in the mini catalog. If you have any questions about the mini catalog that is live and you can order from, questions maybe about back orders or stuff like that, please feel free to send me a message and I'd love to help you out with that. Um, and I thought I was going to say something else, but it's been one of those weeks. Okay, so I thought I was getting an order last Friday. It didn't come till today. <laughs> so what can you do? Um, this morning I put this on and I spilled spaghetti sauce on myself. Then like one minute later, my son dropped a bowl and broke it on the floor. <laughs> and then <laughs> these bowls, they're cursed. We're like down to six bowls <laughs> or something from 12 bowls. Anyway, so we're going to take a deep breath. This is what crafting is for. It is fun. It is relaxing. And so I hope that you have fun with me today. <laughs> So let's just get right to it. How about, so here is this lovely catalog that we've got going on. And what I wanted to share today is how Stampin' Up! has like, puts beautiful catalogs together with all these ideas in it. So obviously you've got the products that you want to buy and how do you create with them? But I go to mine all the time for ideas too. So what I did is I went through and I looked for simple layouts that I could show you that you could take and then copy with supplies that you have. And what I want to show off today are three packs of paper that are actually not even in this little catalog. They are special online exclusives. So you need to go online once in a while maybe and see the online exclusives section and see what's available that's kind of always being added to or changed or updated or whatever. And um, these papers are fun and they're each very different. And um, I hope yeah, you find one that you love and that you can place on order. So let's get to the first one. So we're going to page number 36 in our catalog and I'm not using any of these products. So what I wanna show you is that you can get an idea and then take it with whatever products that you have or that you like. So this is the card that I'm gonna case today. And you can see they've used like a whole sheet of, you know, the piece of DSP covers the front. They've got a little tag element and your sentiment and a little detail. So let's go ahead and start with our card. And the paper I'm gonna be using is called, and now I feel like I forgot the name of it. Yeah, um, somebody, does anyone know the name of this paper? <laughs> oh my word, my brain this week. What? Tidy, okay, yep, Christmas tidings or, I don't have the back. You know how sometimes you get the, goodness. Okay, well I should probably have remembered the name of the paper, but it has, I don't have all the um, patterns right now because I've been using some of it, but it's like this fun kind of vintagey look to it. And this one is the one we're gonna be using with the cute little drinks like cider and um, gingerbread men and candy canes. There's stockings, there's like this fireside scene. There's this cute like mailbox scene here. There's one with Father Christmas that actually coordinates with the Father Christmas um, stamp set that's in the catalog. And so that's kind of cool. So that's the one I don't, I'm not able to show you right now. But this is the paper we're gonna be using. And it's got like this damask kind of looking paper on the back, which is gonna be good for all occasions. So that is the paper. And so let's just show you. So when I'm starting my design, right? So I wanted to pick the pattern of paper that I wanted. So this is the pattern that I chose. 
And now I want it to be the full front of the card, just like we saw in that um, image that we're going to case. Oh, and case just means copy and share everything. So in the crafting world here, um, we're sharing these ideas so that you can take it and use it somewhere else. So if you didn't know what that meant, that's what it means. And so I'm going to cut this so it's four inches by five and a quarter inches. And so that's going to be what we need to fill the front of a card and then leave a, leave a little border. So then I decide what color I'm going to use for background. So I'm going to look what's in the DSP and I could have gone with Mossy Meadow, but I decided to go with the Cherry Cobbler. That also looks really nice. And so I've got cardstock here that's five and a half inches by eight and a half. And then we're going to score it in half at four and a quarter to get our card base. So especially for Christmas time when you want to make multiple cards or for times in your life when you really do want to send a nice handmade card, but maybe you don't want it to take you six hours to make, these kind of cards are awesome. You can make multiples, you can whip it out in a few minutes, and it's going to be great. There, already looks good, right? And the paper does the work for you. It's good. So then we need to create our little detail here. So you could do a whole bunch of things. If you don't have a die cutting machine or dies, you could take a piece of paper and just like snip out a border here, like where you cut out just like a little banner piece here, cut a little triangle at the bottom. And then you could put that on and you don't even need dies or a punch or anything like that. I've decided to use a punch just to show you, or a die to show you a different way to use it. So I've got the something fancy dies here and I've used this large piece here and I've gone ahead and cut it out of Mossy Meadow, which is the green in the paper. And it's gonna create that same kind of look as that batter piece there. So we're gonna go ahead and put that on with our seal. All right, so then what's next? You saw in the picture they had a um, sentiment with a little detail. And so I just cut out a circle. So again, I just went through the dies that I had, and this is from the All That Dies, which is one of my favorites for label shapes. Um, it's this circle one here. But you could definitely use a circle punch or whatever that you have there. And then I just went through my sentiments as well and grabbed um, one here. Actually, I forgot my stamp set. I've got the stamp here. <laughs> Where is it? It is a returning favorite from last year. So the Brightest Glow stamp set. And I just kind of went like, what's going to fit in a circle? <laughs> so um, that goes with this paper. So just the season would be good too. Um, but I chose to use Joy. And I'm going to stamp it in Cherry Cobbler. So go ahead, open that up, ink that up, and stamp it in the middle. So there's our joy. And then we just need a little detail. So I decided I didn't want to cut out any like fussy elements with this. And so I decided to just grab some twine. And so the Simply Elegant trim is like a good staple to have for Christmas time because you get a spool of gold and you get a spool of silver. And you see me use this all the time. And so I thought gold looks nice with these colors. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a loop like this and then bring it up again. So I have two loops at the top. And then I'm going to grab my scissors, cut it off. And I'm also going to cut off that loop as well. So I still have the two loops at the top, but then I kind of have all these tails. And then it's gonna like hang out behind that sentiment there. So I'm just gonna grab my glue dots and stick it right into the glue dot there. Or you could put a little adhesive down on your paper and put it in that way too. So I wanna put it on so it's not hanging off my card. Kind of right in the center there. And then I noticed when I was making my sample that these tails went everywhere and it was kind of driving me crazy. So you might want to put another glue dot down and then you can get your tails to sit. <laughs> and then I'm going to put dimensionals onto um, the back of the sentiment. 
and probably just on the side so that the twine can fit in the middle there. And then we're just going to center that in. So you could kind of like stick those down if they're kind of driving you crazy. So this is it. So like this is a layout that you could easily recreate. Just grab DSP and a couple coordinating elements and a sentiment. And then I cannot resist embellishments. So you're going to need some gems. So today I'm going to be using actually one that's from the annual catalog. So this is called the Festive Pearls. And they come in cherry cobbler, soft succulent, which is retired, but it's a nice pretty green that's going to go with lots of different things. Um, you've got silver and gold as well. And especially because a few of the back orders are back orders. <laughs> A few of the embellishments are back ordered right now. I really wanted to show this off as a good um, one that you can use. It's going to go with all your Christmas projects. And I'm going to use gold because we've got that gold twine. So just to kind of connect that. And I'm just going to add. Let's see, where did I put them on my project? Oh, does it really matter? I'm just going to add three. One, two, three. And then you've got your first simple card based off this card. So similar idea, but you see how you can just totally change up the products and then it looks completely different. So that is our first one. For our second card, I'm gonna be showing off this one here. So page 65 in the actual catalog with these cute little thermoses, can you see? <laughs> so this is the card that I'm going to case. So you can see it's got the DSP that covers the whole back of the card. It's got a rectangle here, and then it's got like a, you know, an element and a little bit of twine running this way. And so I'm going to use that kind of idea um, to create the second card. And for this, I'm going to show you off the Shining Christmas DSP. And so this is one of the online exclusives as well. And I really wanted to show it off because I don't think you can really tell online what it looks like but look at this <laughs> so the paper is actually shiny so this whole thing is shiny so it's not like just like the leaves are just the red like the whole thing is shiny on this side so you've got holly and trees and presents and this argyle one um, candy canes and the stripes which i love and then on the other side you've just got this nice cherry cobbler pattern for everyone that's going to look awesome and then some of the non-Christmassy ones, you know, like these four are going to look good past Christmas as well. And what's nice is that they're going to look good together. So you could pair up this side with this side, this side with this side. And that's what I'm going to show you. Let's just move that out of the way. So I needed... Right, so that sample, there was the DSP that was in the back and then there was a strip that was on top. So this is the same pattern or same paper. So you can see how they complement each other and look really good together. So this time I wanted my DSP to be the full front of the card. So it's cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I want this strip to be I forgot to write it down. So it's two and a half by four and a half is what that one's going to be. And we are just going to put this on a white card base. So I've already got a thick basic white card cut and ready to go. Then we're going to use our seal to put our DSP on. If I can lean over enough, there we go. So it's going to cover the whole front. If it's too hard for you to line up, just cut it to the mat size, to the four by five and a quarter. And then that's easier kind of to put on the front of your card sometimes. And then we're going to put this one on to the left, just like we saw in the catalog sample. And that's the basic layout, right? And then we're going to add an element here. So I decided to um oh see that's crooked and then you can just put it on crooked too <laughs> that's all good 
So I'm gonna grab some basic white. And this time to do my sentiment, I'm going to use this punch, Handmade Wishes punch. That's gonna be really great for sentiment. There's also the decorative circle punch, which I like. So if you don't have a die cutting machine, just using a punch is really great for sentiment. Um, and I'm gonna put it this way. And then lots of things are gonna fit in that kind of um, square shape. I'm gonna use this Deck the Halls from the Christmas Classics. So one second here. So these are ones photopolymer. Just pick that up. And I'm gonna stamp this in cherry cobbler too. So these colors um, are also cherry cobbler and mossy meadow, if you're wondering what the colors are. And it's gonna fit lean over here it's just right in there and then if you've got a bow punch or dies that have some kind of Christmassy leaf shape I've cut out these two um, holly branches because obviously to match um, the holly in the paper and these are from the Christmas classics dies and there it is. This is the Holly one. So I just got went ahead and cut out two of those from um, Mossy Meadow. And then this time I decided to add silver as my kind of like embellishment color as opposed to gold. And then if you're looking for some ribbon to go with your Christmas projects um, online as well, so not in a catalog, is this silver and gold trim. So this is really fun for Christmas too. So I'm gonna use the silver and I just need like the tiniest little bit. I'm just gonna create like a little tail with it. So I'm just kind of folding it in half. And if you wanna make your card even more simple, then leave out all the embellishments. So that would work. So I've just got a glue dot on there and I'm gonna stick it right onto my sentiment there then i'll put a glue dot on each of the holly leaves and then you can kind of see where you want them so i'm just kind of sticking out like that and then we'll put our dimensionals on the back I've been trying this lately, like putting my things right onto my sentiment as opposed to my card and I'm kind of liking it. So you can do either or, of course, <laughs> of course, you can make it any way you want to make it. We'll take those off. And then like our sample, I'm going to hang it off the edge a little bit. And so nice. And in this time of and add <laughs> always three. So we'll grab our bone folder. What? 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and we've already made two cards. So that you're gonna be able to use again and again. So for the so excited to show you this card because this is in customs for a week. I do not know what happened. It was very unusual. It's paper. So a card. So you can quickly pull up a card. <laughs> this is um, paper. Why can I remember the name of it? I'll look up all the right names. But this is also an online exclusive and it's all shiny. So you get two of every color. So they're full pack. You get two sheets of each. But look, they're made to go this. So pretty, right? So you can, or like a bag or something where you fold it. Over. They're meant to go together, the front and the back, right? I love it. So we're gonna make a fall card to finish off today. The Lost Lagoon. And so again, we're just gonna use a regular card base at four and a quarter. And then the card we're casing. <laughs> That's the whole point of this. Okay, we'll cut this to four by five and a quarter. Let's your card. Let's show you what we're casing this time. 
So this one here, so this is the one that we're going to be casing. So you can see I've got the DSP to um, show the mat on the card. Then I've got the ribbon kind of folded in and then the little detail. So let all idea. So first we're on. And so it just gives a nice mat, of course, around. And then we're gonna use the Buffalo check um, called black and very vanilla large check ribbon. So nice and smooth and soft is cut it so that front of the card. So you can kind of, that's about eight inches. So this was the same in the sample that we're casing, but the ribbon that you want on your project. And I'm going to use tear and tape for my ribbon. And I think I want it about, you don't want it to hop up, but it's definitely a third of your card. So I have another piece of tear and tape here. Find the end. Peel that off like that. So that's our ribbon. And then so I've got the autumn leaves dies, which finally arrived. Brand new. So excited. This label piece here, but of course, any label. And so that's this cutout in basic white empire sentiment on it um, using the coordinating stamp set. So I'm going to do and do I'm thankful, but there's also today and every day and to have you as a friend. Actually, change my mind to have you as a friend. Just grab my little block here. This is block G. Black to kind of coordinate with the black in the ribbon there. And actually, I think I stamped the little. So something that's like photopolymer like and then pick it up so that I don't put it on my block curved. Okay, so we'll stamp that on. Probably didn't need to push there. That just means I push too hard. But we'll roll with it. <laughs> I got to fight again. I'm thankful. It's going to drive me crazy, but we'll <laughs> center it more. Or you can stamp and then cut it out. Okay, so you've got your sentiment. And then we need the same autumn leaves dyes with these fun maple leaf shapes. So I could use. And I use colors that this tartan paper comes in. It's good together, right? So it's already come up with the color combo for us. So I've got two in, in Pebbled Path. And then we'll just start. So I'm going to add a glue dot and layer it with. And then put another glue dot on the front of that. Here. And so then we're going to put it on. And so then I'm just, because then I know I've got contact with paper and stick better to my card, especially with this shiny. Well, center that on our ribbon. I've got the in color dots. And so I'm. Two, three. And I love Buffalo check, black and white check for fall. It's so fun. It's been in, I still like it. I'm not tired of it. You can like whatever you like. 